I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Tech Breakdown brought to you by eDesign. And today we're talking all about passives. But before we do that, make sure you like and follow. Electronic components are really put in two categories, active and passive. Active components are things like transistors and integrated circuits. Active components such as transistors and integrated circuits can amplify signal or control the flow of electricity. Passive components do not have the ability to control electricity by themselves. Instead, passive components are fundamental building blocks that manage and manipulate the flow of electricity in a circuit. These components are essential for shaping signals and ensuring the stability of the electrical system. Now there are a few key types of passive components. Resistors, capacitors, inductors, diodes, and transformers. Now why are passive components so important to electronics? Passive components are essential to the functionality and the stability of the electronic circuit. They help shape the signal, filter noise, and ensure other active components operate correctly. For example, without a resistor, current may damage delicate components, and without capacitors, signals could become unstable, leading to a circuit failure. Capacitors, for instance, can store energy for later use, helping to stabilize power supply circuits. Inductors can protect circuits from sudden spikes in current, acting as a buffer that absorbs and releases energy as needed. Now, these components may not be as glamorous as their active counterparts, but they are essential for ensuring the electronic system operates correctly, efficiently, and reliably. For more on electronics, make sure you like and follow eDesignIt, and remember to visit eDesignIt.com.